closing uh, 8,000 or more stores, uh, company-operated stores in the United States, and having 175,000 Starbucks partners, we call our part, uh, all our employees partners, uh, go through this training is just one step in this journey. And that was Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson on Fox Business explaining why 8,000 stores will be closing nationwide on the afternoon of May 29th for a one-day racial bias training. That means no coffee for anyone on the afternoon of May 29th. And that means, well, Starbucks is going to lose a lot of money on the afternoon of May 29th since no one can get their afternoon latte. But it's all coming because the nation is very upset. There's been a big uproar over two black men that were arrested inside a Starbucks store while just being there waiting for a friend. I mean, this is, um, this is what the company has to do. Starbucks needs to get out in front of this issue. They are doing the right thing. And I realize there's a little bit of CYA going on and they're trying to protect themselves and protect their reputation because this is a pretty lousy thing. I mean, these guys were dressed casually, regularly. They're just in there waiting for a friend. And the next thing you know, someone's calling the police and saying they have these two people here who aren't buying anything and they need to be escorted out. That's pretty rough. But, you know, in addition to Starbucks doing what it needs to do to get out in front of the story, and that's sort of PR 101, I also think this is good for people to be focusing on. In other words, this is going to have a bigger impact than just Starbucks itself. In other words, we are talking about this here at this very moment, and it's something we should be talking about because there are biases out there. And I don't feel like I have them. You probably don't feel like you have them either. But I'll tell you, a lot of African Americans feel that we have them, that they're alive and well in the United States of America. I want to share with you this poll, everyone. And this shows you uh, when Pew Research asked, is racism a big problem in society? 82% of blacks said yes, only 52% of whites. In terms of saying no, only 18% of blacks said no, 48% of whites said no. So in other words, what's going on here is a, a different perhaps perception based on the skin color you actually have. You know, I was telling my team when we were talking this morning, sometimes I'm out there in the middle of winter with the three kids trying to hail a cab and a cab driver will go by. And I think, really, is it the three kids? Are you just passing me? And then I think, you know, if I were African-American, would I, would I feel that they were passing me by because of the color of my skin. And maybe they're not, but it goes through your mind. That's just the reality. And it's in part because of the history we have. It's in part because of the economic disadvantage I think certain populations have been put in. Um, and it's the reality of where we are right now. So the good news is we're talking about it. The conversation is open. And the good news is we're going to keep talking about it. May 29th, when you can't get your latte, maybe you'll be thinking about it. I don't know whether it's going to have an impact on these Starbucks employees, but it's becoming part of the national conversation.